A thin metallic wire uh, having cross-sectional area 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. So cross-sectional area is A is 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. Is used to make a ring of radius 30 centimeter. So the radius of the ring is 30 centimeter. A positive charge of 2 pi coulomb. Okay, so this total charge which is uh, uniformly distributed is this Q is actually 2 pi coulomb is uniformly distributed with the ring. Well, another positive charge of plus 30 pico coulomb. So here the charge which is mentioned written uh, placed here is 30 uh, pico coulomb center of the ring. The tension in the ring is okay. So now what we do is we take a small part of the ring. Okay, uh, let us take this as you know two theta. We are taking two theta. Uh, later on, we will understand why we are taking two. We take it as two theta. Okay, so now here, if you see, this is how much? This is uh, r into two theta. So it will be having some charge also. Now what is the what is the charge in r2 theta so therefore it's going to be r2 theta into charge per unit length so this is 2 pi coulomb divided by 2 pi r gone gone and this is also gone so therefore 2 theta coulomb is the charge here okay now uh, we are taking theta to be very small so when theta is very small so theta can be assumed uh, so that the entire charge can be assumed to be at the center because it's actually very very small okay so um, so therefore the force between the two charges is going to be okay so here it's uh, you know this is 2 theta coulomb and here it's 30 pico coulomb so therefore the force is going to be k into 2 theta into 30 pico coulomb divided by r square this is going to be the charge so this is also in coulomb and this is pico coulomb okay now the question is what is the tension in the ring so for that we see this diagram so you see here we are having two theta here okay now we take again a small portion of the ring and we see you know this is this tension is going to be tangential here so it's going to be tangential so therefore the t cos theta is here t cos theta is here both t cos theta they get cancelled out so therefore net force in this direction is actually 2t sin theta so this 2t sin theta okay this 2t sin theta you know should be equal to the force of repulsion here because you see both are positive charges this is also positive this is also positive so it's going to be in this direction okay so the tension force the 2t uh, this this is going to counteract here okay so basically you know the force of repulsion was in this direction so both of them are going to be equal so therefore 2 t sine theta is going to be equal to how much k into 2 theta into 2 theta coulomb into 30 pico coulomb divided by r square and r is 30 centimeter so therefore 0 0.3 meter whole square okay so now since theta is very small so therefore we can write sine theta to be equal to theta because theta is very small so 2t into theta should be equal to uh, k which is 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square into 2 theta coulomb into 30 
Now this uh, is 30 pico coulomb. Pico is 10 to the power minus 12 coulombs divided by 0 0.3 meters whole square. So this is uh, 3 into 10 power minus 1. So 9 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter square. Meter square and meter square is gone. Coulomb square and coulomb coulomb is gone. So therefore uh, no, no, 2 theta and here also is gone. So therefore T becomes if you see okay 9 and 9 is also gone here and okay so it is 30 into 10 to the power minus 12 plus 2 plus 9. So tension actually becomes 3 newtons. So therefore the tension in the ring is 3 newtons.